Hey guys, my name is Kayleen and I'm trying the 100 ab challenge. So by day, I'm usually working behind the scenes here at BuzzFeed as a production coordinator, but in my free time, I'm known as the Clean Fit on Instagram and hopefully YouTube. I'm low-key a fitness YouTuber junkie. So I actually came upon this one YouTuber named Blogilates. Her actual name is Casey Ho. So she does a million 30-day challenges, like she does an abs one, she does a glutes one, she does a legs one, an arm, like she has so many. And I happen to choose abs because that is actually my favorite part of the body to work. I'm doing this challenge because my word of the year for 2020 is consistency. I feel like that's one thing that I'm not really good at doing. I'm not consistent in a lot of the things that I do, especially in my workouts. I actually have tried a couple challenges and it's not that it didn't work, okay? It was that I didn't work. <laughs> I was not consistent. My lifestyle requires me to have a pretty healthy diet already, so I won't be changing my diet per se, but I do know for sure that I am taking dairy out because I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I think I'm lactose intolerant, I haven't gone to the doctor for it yet, who knows, but I do get the bubble guts and I get bloated. <laughs> that is a thing, it's nasty. So I really wanna work on making sure that my abs become toned in doing this challenge, and I just feel like if I'm gonna do 100 abs for 30 days, then I'm starting my year off right. They say summer bodies are made in the winter. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> you know, day one, we started out pretty smooth. Like, we started with the hundreds, and honestly, it was a lot more arm work than anything, so I didn't really feel it. Like, I, I genuinely was like, oh, this is gonna be a breeze. Like, okay, whatever, cool. Then we got to day two. I think it was the cross crunch kick. And after 50, I felt it. I was like, oh, okay, Blogilates, you're really trying it. Like, you wanna fight. <sighs> it didn't take me long to realize that I would have to do these workouts in sets. I was not doing 100 full out. Like, it was just not happening. So I did like sets of four, sets of two. They never said that you couldn't do sets, so I still did it. All right, mm -hmm, let's do it. Maybe I'm just still a little drunk. So by day 10, they started hitting some of my favorite workouts, which was perfect for me. It was like planks and hip twists, and I'm used to that. I've been doing that through my ab routine, through my fitness journey for a minute. So like around that time, day 10 to 15, I was chilling a little bit. But then day 15 hit, and like, I never heard of some of these workouts in my life. Like, some of them were having me defy gravity. Like, what the hell is star abs? I took so many pauses within my workouts. Like, I didn't even do sets. I did, like, one pause. What? Let me remind you that this is during holiday season, right? So I have Christmas, I have moving, because I was also moving at this time, and then I got these workouts. These ab challenges were not letting up. They were actually getting harder. Luckily for me, because it was the holiday season, I was around family, I was around friends. What is all this hair? What is this? And just people who were actually like, I want to join, which was super exciting for me. Uh, 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 You're not being a full Yes, you are. Well, if you lean back, you can. Can you go away? Are you even going in a circle? I don't... Oh, I had my aunties join, I had my brother join. It was great. So that was amazing, and by day 30, I felt happy you know like this is good for me before versus now like obviously there's always room for improvement but this for me this is a good result for a month worth of apps so I would say that this challenge was hard, but it wasn't impossible. It actually pushed me to see what my limits were and what it is that I could do and what I couldn't do. And in that sense, now I know better and, and now I'm better for it in terms of like my fitness journey as a person. Like I'm just, I'm so happy that I actually did this and I actually kind of want to do another challenge now. I definitely would recommend this challenge. I give it a 10 out of 10 for sure. For me, it definitely set the tone for the rest of my year, which is super dope. And I hope that I'm consistent in everything that I do for the rest of 2020. Can you see it? Oh, can you see it?
three.